A double whammy of food insecurity and population growth is looming large. On the one hand, the world's food supply is already threatened by climate change and other factors. Water scarcity and salinization are also major risks to food production. More than a billion people currently live in water-scarce regions, and as many as 3.5 billion could experience water scarcity by 2025. And every day since the early 1990s, about 2,000 hectares of irrigated land in arid and semi-arid areas in 75 countries have been degraded by salt. The global annual cost of salt-induced land degradation is 27.3 billion USD because of lost crop production only. On the other hand, the global population is forecasted to reach 9.7 billion by 2050. To feed this number, food production will have to increase by at least 70%, including a 50% rise in annual cereal production. But some 870 million people are undernourished worldwide today. So how can we feed the growing world population when so many people are going hungry already? Scientists say that one way to do that is to grow alternative crops in water-scarce, salt-affected, and drought-prone regions, where major crops are failing to produce good yields and becoming uneconomical. They believe quinoa might be just the job. A super crop from the Andes requires a lot less water than major crops. It is also much more resistant to drought. What is more, it withstands high levels of salinity, meaning it can grow on salt-affected soils and be irrigated with saline water. More importantly, quinoa also ticks all the nutritional boxes. It is higher in calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, potassium, iron, copper, manganese, and zinc than wheat, barley, or corn. It is gluten-free and contains all essential amino acids, making it a complete protein source. Quinoa is also a great dietary choice for people with diabetes due to its low glycemic index. Due to its exceptional nutritional value and adaptability to harsh environmental conditions, farmers around the world have been adopting the crop. Recognizing quinoa's potential early on, the International Center for Biosaline Agriculture, based in the United Arab Emirates, initiated a global program on quinoa in marginal environments back in 2007. Since then, ICPA has been working with its partners to identify, test, and introduce quinoa in different regions. To date, ICPA has identified and developed five high-yielding, salt- and drought-tolerant quinoa genotypes and released them as commercial varieties in countries from the Middle East to North Africa to South Asia to Central Asia. As a result, more and more smallholder farmers are growing these varieties in many countries, including Egypt, Morocco, and Kyrgyzstan. They are thus gearing up for climate change and other threats to their food security and livelihoods. While the prospect of global food crisis might seem far off, we must act now. We must sow the seeds of future food security today.